This is the Shock Absorber Netball Academy at Intisports.com. In this guide, we're going to look at the back step, side step, and step in shooting techniques. If you're a goal attack or goal shooter and you want to perform at a higher level, then you'll need to learn a range of shooting techniques. It's important to learn each of these variations as, individually, they're one of a number of ways you can relieve pressure from a defender. The back step shot technique is especially useful if you're being marked by a defender that's taller than you because it puts additional space between you. Most shooters use the backstep shot when a defender's arms are obscuring a direct shot or when they receive the ball directly under the net because it provides a better shooting angle. For the sidestep shot, the sideways rather than backward movement means that you'll stay roughly the same distance away from the post. However, the sideways movement before you release the shot will make it more difficult to maintain accuracy. It'll probably take a little practice before you master it, and even more if you want to use it confidently during matches. The step-in shot is used for penalty shots, and you can use it when there is no defender directly between your position and the goalpost, to make it an easier shot. OK, let's look at the key points of technique, starting with the back step shot. The basic setup is very similar to the basic shot, so the ball is held above your head and resting on the pads of the fingers of your preferred shooting hand, with your wrist under the ball. Your free hand will be on the near side of the ball to give extra stability and control, and you should be able to see past your hands to the rim of the goalpost. Take a small step backwards, lifting your front foot as you do. Take a moment to steady yourself on your landing foot and then let your wrist drop back slightly and release the ball upwards and forwards using a flick of the wrist and pushing with your fingers at the same time. Your front foot must remain off the ground and the ball should loop up and over like a normal shot into the ring. You'll notice that the best shooters in the world manage to maintain complete balance and their back step technique is very similar to that of their basic shot. For the sidestep shot, take a small step sideways, moving your weight onto the stepping foot and lifting the non-stepping foot off the ground a little. Again, take a moment to steady yourself on your landing foot and then release the ball forwards using a flick of the wrist whilst pushing with your fingers at the same time. Like the backstep shot, your raised foot must remain off the ground until you release the shot and the ball should loop up and over like a normal shot into the ring. For both types of shot, because you're lifting off one foot and not two at the release point, you'll need to come up slightly higher onto the balls of your foot than you normally do for a basic shot, so that you generate enough power. You'll also need to concentrate on keeping good balance through the shooting action. If you wobble or lean too far, then you might not score. Next, let's look at the step-in variation, which you can use either when a penalty shot has been awarded by the umpire, or when a defender chooses not to mark in line with the goalpost. The decision to use a step-in shot should take account of two things. Firstly, does the reduced distance of the post improve your shooting position? It won't in every situation, so you may be better to shoot using a standard shot. And secondly, are you as confident stepping in to shoot as you are using your normal shooting stance? If the answer to both those questions is yes, then step in and take the shot. Finally, remember to concentrate on exactly where you want the ball to go into the net. The ball should loop up, higher than the ring and drop into the net without touching the ring and your hand should follow through the shot and finish as if you're reaching to touch the top of a high wardrobe or chest of drawers. So that's the stepping shot techniques, let's recap on the key points. The basic setup for all three variations is very similar to the basic shot, holding the ball in your shooting hand with your free hand on the near side of the ball. To begin the back step shot, take a small step backwards, lifting your front foot as you do, and take a moment to steady yourself on your landing foot. Remember that your foot must remain off the ground, and the ball should loop up and over like a normal shot through the ring. The ball should loop up, higher than the ring, and drop into the net, and your hand should follow through the shot and finish as if you're reaching to touch the top of a high wardrobe or shelf. For the side step shot, take a small step sideways, lifting your non-stepping foot as you do, and take a moment to steady yourself on your landing foot. Again, remember that your raised foot must remain off the ground, and the ball should loop up and over like a normal shot into the ring. Use the step in when a penalty shot is awarded, or the defender isn't positioned in line with the post. If the shorter distance to the post improves your shooting position, and you're as confident stepping in to shoot as you are remaining in the same position using your normal shooting technique.
So that's three new variations of the basic shooting techniques mastered. If you want to add another shot technique to your repertoire, then why not check out the guide to the jump shot or running shot? Or if you're keen to practice your backstep shot technique, why not check the drill section for a practice drill that you can use? Intersports.com, the home of world-class netball coaching online.